all right all right i am back i'm so sorry for the delay i was having some problem with um was having some problem here so i am back as you can see um i'm not gonna stay long at all um because i have somewhere to be so if you are online please tell me where are you watching from and um this uh life is going to be available just in case if you are not here it's going to be available for you to watch later on and i don't know if anyone can see me or if anyone can hear me i mean let me turn this down in a few i'm gonna go ahead and start in a few this is gonna be also available on youtube so if you are online please tell me where you are watching from type someone give me just a moment let me type some people i'm not gonna stay here for too long i'll be taking off soon i know it's already past um about 10 minutes already because i was having a little bit challenges so God bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you i know we have this beautiful program coming up soon in the month of august so if you are in dallas the flyer is right there and uh, the address is in there as well i'm gonna share the flyer soon hopefully tomorrow if you are in a metro place where this is gonna be happening please make yourself available so please if you can share this live for me um i'm gonna go ahead and continue i will make this live available on youtube as well i'm not gonna really wait much here so as you can see the uh description if you look at the description what is in there uh it said um things you should never you should never do when you are raising kids as a single parent when you are raising kids as a single parent okay so um there are a couple of lists that i have done here you know what give me just a second i'm gonna turn this down because this is kind of distracting me so as you can see, it says things you should never do when you are raising your kids as a single parent, okay? And I'm going to back it up with some scriptures. Just a second. Okay. So things you should never do when you are raising your kid as a single parent. And uh, for some reason, I've really been, um, it, I've been talking more about kids, about children, Okay because i'm not gonna lie to you um i was not raised by a two, uh, both of my parents so i can really understand some things that is going on in the life of our children and um if you are a single parent or you don't if you are married or you are single raising your children by yourself there are some things that i really needed you to watch out for just for the sake of your kids okay number one that i'm gonna speak about is when you are raising your kids as a single parent my volume is low thank you ma'am for how is that can you hear now is this okay please let me know if you can hear me can you hear me woman of god god bless you for letting me know how is it now let me know if the volume is up better amen thank you ma'am 
So if you are raising your kids as a single parent, this is not only for mothers, this is also for a father. If you are raising your kids as a single father or as a single mom, things that you should never do, you should watch out for, for the protection and for the sake of your kids, for the sake of your children. Number one that I have in here is never, never to speak negative about either the mom or the dad in front of the child or in anywhere that the child can hear okay these are one of the things that uh is a no-no is a no-no you know because the reason why you don't want to do that it does not it, it does not matter the the age of the child again especially if the child if this if the child if they are still little um, like from the age of maybe four years old, five years old, one years old, um, they might not really understand. They're still kind of, you know, but starting from the age of four and up, those kids, they they can easily understand. They, I mean, there is no way you will try to sweet talk things to them that they will not. <laughs> they'll get it. So one thing you should never do is to talk negative about the mother of the child or the father of the child in front of that child. Because when you do this, when you do this, you are creating a negative image. You are creating a negative, you are creating something that is not healthy in the mind of this child, in his head, you know. These are these kids. They are treasure from God. They are blessing. They are gift. So we are responsible when God bless us with all these kids. With um, it doesn't matter how many kids you have. When you are blessed with all these children, God is expecting you to stand to protect these kids. Okay, no matter what it is that you face in life, as long as these kids they are minor, you have to do whatever you have to do to protect them. And you don't want to speak anything that is not of God. They don't need to hear it. They want to hear good words. They want to hear positive words. Okay? When you start speaking negative about the mom or the father, I don't really know what image you're trying to create. Okay? I don't know what image you're trying to create. I don't know what... Because the child is too little to process whatever you're trying to... Or deliver or you want him to he or she to know so what you want to do is to make sure you let this child know that you got this child be there for this child do whatever you have to do to make sure that this child grow up in a positive way without thinking about the the things that you went through with your dad or the things that you went through with your mom they don't need to hear all that the fact that they are in your custody, the fact that you are the one now protecting, now um, taking care of this child, do whatever you have to do to make sure this child is okay. Because informing them about all these other things that is going on that the mother or the dad did is only going to create a damage inside of these kids. Because when they go out there in midst of their friends or in school, they are struggling. They are, they, are, they are struggling to even do the things they're supposed to be doing in school because all they're thinking about is the things that you put in their head about their dad or their mom. And that is going to also make them feel bad about themselves because, of course, this is their dad. This is their mom you're talking about. So there is no reason to do this. You want to protect this child. You want to make sure that this child feel good about herself or about himself you don't want anything like form of distraction at all just do whatever you can to be there for this child okay be there for your kids no matter how hard it is you don't want to speak negative about either of the parents to your kids you don't want to do that especially if they are still a minor if they're still young if they are just just let them as time goes on they will get it if they are not matured enough to understand what you're trying to tell them you don't have to press you don't have to pressure them you don't have to make them understand because they are still young they're not going to get it they're not going to get it just let as time goes on they will be able to know they'll be able to know the difference 
they will be able to maybe when they get to that age whereby you know that okay it's time for them to know you know what happened and whatever you want them to know they should they should be able to process it at that age when they get to the age of understanding maybe 17 18 and up but while they are still little you don't want to do that because what you are doing is actually damaging them making them feel bad about themselves because the person you're talking about again like i said is their mom this is the person that gave birth to them or their father this this is part of them so doing this is really not healthy for the kids and the second thing i'm going to talk about you know i'm i'm saying this because anything that have to do with kids and uh do with orphans and uh, widows i i don't i don't joke around with it at all okay the second thing that i'm going to talk about is never ignore your kids where you notice a similar behavior negative behavior that the father or the mother has you notice you notice it on your uh, in the life of this in the life of your children or in the life of your son or your daughter you don't want to ignore it okay you don't want to ignore it um one thing i will advise you to do whenever you notice anything anything that have to do with the dad or the mom like a negative act or behavior that you really don't like about each other you notice that your children you notice it in the in, in your children what you want to do is to pray pray about it and um pray about it and uh, don't just accept that it's okay well that's just exactly the way the dad is that's just exactly the way the mother is and you just see it as part of their life you know that is okay for them to just live life with it it's okay it's not that okay for them at all as a mother as the one in uh, taking care of this kid is your responsibility to do what you have to do in terms of praying speak into the life of this child reject and refuse rebuke whatsoever negativity that you see around this child or whatsoever pattern that you notice about the mom or the dad and you see it surfacing in the life of this child my dear you don't want to ignore it you want to do whatever you can especially if you have the spirit of god in you that is a way of god telling you that it is time you need to do something about this you can't allow it to go like that because if you do it will it, it automatically is like a pattern that will continue with this child even when he or she grow up to become an adult and a father or a mother is going to continue from them from there so when you notice it don't just ignore it it don't matter how old these kids are you might be thinking that well he's 15 or he's 16 he can handle that by himself he can pray him pray herself out of it it does not matter how old they are you still have to stand in the gap of these children you still have to stand in the gap of your son of your daughter it does not matter the age at all because they're looking up to you. When daddy is not there, you are the one they are looking up to. Yes, God is there, but as they are, as they are guidance, you are the one that they're looking up to. So you never want to ignore when you notice um, a similar behavior, you know, that either of the parents have, where you notice it, you don't want to ignore it. Pray about it. Pray for God to take it away. However you want to do it, if you want to fast, pray that God will take it away. Because obviously, there are some things that you notice from the father or the mother that you didn't like that made you make the decision that you made. So you don't want your child, if you see it in the life of your child, you don't want your child to carry that pattern to continue with his life or to live the kind of life you want to live with whoever is going to get involved with it's not good at all do whatever you have to do to protect this child the fact that you are the one taking care of this child you are there this child look up to you 
to protect him. This child is looking up to you as an example to follow. So if you don't do it right, you are to be blamed. People are going to blame you. They don't care how you struggle. Baby, close the door, please. I love you, Mom. Close the door. Thank you. Close it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That is my little one. So, again, like I said, when you notice any negative behavior, similar behavior in the life of your child, please do whatever you have to do as a child of God and fix whatever you can fix. Do whatever you can do and leave the rest for God. Never accept that it's okay for them to continue life like that. It's not all right. If truly you love this child, you want to treasure this child, you want to protect this child, do whatever you have to do to make sure those patterns is not going to follow this child to wherever he's going to be moving on to in life. Okay? And the third one is... Um, Never use negative words on your kids. Never use negative words when you're talking to your children. I'm life. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. So, what I said was never use negative words on your kids. Never speak anything negative in the life of your kids. No matter what it is, no matter what, um, no matter what life throws at you, never use negative words at your kids. When I said, no matter what life throws at you, sometimes these kids they don't understand, you know, the battles that we face as a mother, that we face as a father. They don't understand, you know. It takes only the grace of God for God to, you know, it take it. it it's just. How it sometimes is hard. One thing about kids, you can't really pressure them to do what they don't want to do. All you can do is just speak to them in a positive way and bring the word of God in and just continue to pray. Whether they get it, they don't get it, it's okay. But just continue to pray after talking to them. When I said don't use negative words on your kids, like when they do you wrong or when they speak negative to you or when they disrespect you or or maybe um, you remember some certain things that they did to you and because of that you start speaking negative words, you call it their name, stupid, you fool, you ass, you this. You know, you have to understand that the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 18, 21, it says life and death are in the power of our tongue. So be very, 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 very careful when you open your mouth, you want to talk to your children, especially when they, when they provoke you to the point that you don't even remember how that word come out of your mouth. It just came like that and you just release it. You know, once upon a time, I'm not going to lie, long time ago when I didn't know better, you know, I'm not talking about my kids. I'm just saying in general, when I speak to some people that <laughs> they say something terrible to me and I just want to relieve. But thank God for his spirit. Thank God for his love. Thank God for his mercy. Now, when you have the spirit of God in you, that is like a map. That is a map. Whenever you're about to do something wrong, <laughs> trust me, you will get it. Like, okay, no, I am not supposed to say this. This is not of God. I am not supposed to speak like this. So when it comes to your kids, you want to be very, very mindful of what you say to your children. They can easily provoke you. I understand. Trust me. <laughs> they can provoke you. Do not speak negative words to your children. And sometimes when you think about all the pain that you you went through, all the things that you have done by yourself raising them, or as a single dad, or as a single mother, you know, you, you just begin to feel like, okay, all these things that I've done for this child, he he's talking to me like this, or she's talking to me like this. She don't even care the pain that I went through. And from there, you just get provoking. You start saying things to this kid. 
You don't want to do that because this is our kids that came out of you. God trusted you with these kids. When, when he blessed you with these children, he trusts you with them. You are like, you are to protect these children. Do not allow the enemy to easily get to you to the point that you are provoked to speak negative. When you think about the things that your mom did to you or when you think about the things that your father did to you and you begin to remember some certain things and you take that frustration and begin to speak negative in the life of these children, but they don't deserve it. They don't. Instead, whenever you notice you want to, whenever you notice you're boiling, you're angry, it's okay, but catch yourself instantly and begin to turn that negative statement, turn it into a positive statement, and leave the rest to God. Leave the rest to God. Saying it to them is not going to do nothing but you just speaking poison into their life, cursing them. And tomorrow, when it goes bad tomorrow, you still going to suffer it. Except you don't love your child, except you don't care about them, then you can easily release those words to them. But I don't believe that you carry your child for nine months. You went through the pain, you went through all the back and forth, the sofa, the t whatever it is that you went through when you were carrying that child in your womb. I don't want to believe that you did that for nothing. Just do what you can in the process. Long down the road, it will pay off. Don't allow the enemy to get you provoked to the point you begin to release negative words to your kids. Okay? And the, the, the fourth one that I want to talk about is never allow the devil to control your mind, to control your thoughts. Or creating a negative image about your children you know when you look at your kids you begin to get provoked you see some things that it's not supposed to be you see some things that maybe something that your dad did to you or your mom did to you you begin to picture it like okay He's going to do the same thing. I can already see it. He's going to act the same way. She's going to act the same way. I can already see it. That's just the enemy playing with you. That's just the enemy painting a negative image, painting a negative picture about your child for you to hate that child or for you to care less about that child or for you to think that it's okay. It's not okay. The enemy is very, 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 very good. Remember, we are not too righteous or too holy to face battle. As long as we live, we will always continue to face all these things that is going on in this world. But remember, when you have God inside of you, he will tell you and teach you and lead you on how to be able to stand for you, your family, to stand for your children, to stand for the nation, to no matter how the enemy push you. The enemy will always come to try to mess with your head, to try to mess with your mind. Now I'm talking about your children, now I'm talking about your own family. Don't allow the enemy to play game with your mind. Because the more he does that in your head and you don't rebuke it, you don't reject it, you will continue to see that child like that. And everything about this child will just be like meaningless to you. It's like this child is nothing to you. It's like you will begin to look at this child as if this child is the devil in your life. No, it's not. It's the, that's what the enemy wants. Uh, this child is the reason why you're going through what you're going through. It's not. That's just the devil playing with your mind. So what you should do whenever you start getting this kind of image about your lovely, beautiful, blessed child, 
please reject it. Talk to, talk, talk to yourself. Say, I reject you, Satan. Get deep behind me. Not my child. Not my kids. This is real. What I'm talking about, these are things that are really happening. That's why sometimes you will see mothers, you will see fathers, you will see children, they will turn back on their mom, they will turn back on their father, they will turn back on their children, just because of what the enemy is doing, just because of what the enemy is plotting concerning them, and because they don't have the spirit of God in them to lead them, to, for them to understand, they just accept that, okay, this is how life is. Let's continue to roll like this. Let's continue to roll the way it is. No, that's not the way it's supposed to be. And that is not the way God wanted to be. That is the way the enemy wanted to be. And if you are a child of God, you never want to allow the enemy to detect or to tell you or to control how you will live your life with your children or your family. It's okay to speak to the end, to speak to that devil, to speak to whoever is trying to manipulate your mind. Speak to them and tell them, no, what you're trying to do, I have already seen you from afar, so it's not going to happen. I reject you, I rebuke you. I'm saying this because the enemy is really, really, really playing with our children. So we as a father, as a mother, we are, we, we need to stand in the gap to protect our kids. No matter what it is, no matter what the circumstances is that you are facing, if a child is in your custody or if you are responsible for that child, do whatsoever you have to do to make sure that this child is safe. To make sure that this child trusts you that you can be there for for him or you can be there for her that you will not let her go you will not allow her to, to you will not allow the enemy to take her <laughs> and another thing that i want to talk about is Another thing that I want to talk about when it comes to raising your kids as a single dad or as a single mom, never be in a hurry to introduce your kids. When you find yourself in a relationship or to if it's a man or whoever that you find yourself you want to join with or or you are dating and whatever it is do not be in a hurry to introduce your kids because those are your treasure those are your gifts your kids are your treasure it does not matter how what you are going through right now to raise them those are your treasure when you treasure something so much you want to do whatever you can to protect that thing you want to do whatsoever you can to make sure that thing is safe so the kids that god trusted you with that he blessed you with you don't want to toy with your life you don't want to play game with your life if you want to take the risk and do whatever you want to do because you've grown you can make decision you know you know whatever that you can do to protect yourself and all that but for these children they don't know better yet they're still little so they are hiding behind you so when you are making decision you want to make sure that before you make that decision watch over your back to make sure that child that is up that is behind you that child is safe that child is going to be okay that child is going to be protected that child is going to be um Basically, you want to do whatever you can to make sure no harm comes to that child. You want to make sure you do whatever you can to protect your kids. Don't be in a hurry 
to introduce your children to any man or any woman. Be very, very, very careful. You can continue, you can do whatever you want to do, live life, enjoy life. Because I, I sometimes I always hear this word when people say, where I have life to live too. I can't always be dragging my kids with me. I can't always be doing this. <laughs> the fact that those kids are still young, are still little, you have no choice. So when you are making a decision, you need to think about those kids. It is not going to take. It's not. It does not really take that much time. It doesn't. Time flies just like this. Don't think that because you are with your kids, you're going to you're going to miss out on time or some things is going to just pass you by. Remember, these kids, like I said, they are your treasure. When you spend your time with these children, take care of them. Do whatsoever you think that you can do to make sure that they are okay. Let them be your priority. Don't be in a haste. Whatsoever it is that God have for you, it will surely come to pass. The blessing, which are the kids that he gave you, he didn't give those kids to you to delay you from getting the other thing that he had in store for you. No. And the process of you raising these kids. God is watching every single thing that you are doing with this gift that he gave you, with these blessings that he gave you. He's watching. But when you decide to show care, when you decide to prove like you don't care, you want to only care for yourself, you want to go after what makes you happy, without thinking about this kid, and you just start, you know, doing whatever you're doing, bringing all kind of, um, let me not go that route, but you want to make sure that in any decision that you make, your kids, your children, are safe at the right time what is meant to be yours what is meant to be for you will come do not be in a haste take your time it's okay take your time because sometimes we rush and we just do things we rush and we just make decisions we rush and we just um we just uh, rush into making a quick decision that will affect us tomorrow that we affect our children So, there is a scripture that I really want to read. Can you go? Yes, baby, just a minute. I'm almost done. Okay. Close my door. Please, close my door. Mommy, mommy's, mommy's here. Okay, close the door. So, there's a scripture that I want to read from the book of Psalm 127, verse 3. It said, when earthly parents welcome Heavenly Father's children into their um, homes, it's our responsibility to love them, to cherish them, teach them, and lead them to eternal life. So, when you find yourself carrying a responsibility that you think that is too much on you, no, it's not too much. With God, He make all things easy he make all things perfect at his own time perfect time he will make it all perfect for you he sees all your efforts so continue to push continue to press on at the end there is a greater reward waiting for you so i'm gonna go ahead and end this here cherish what you have cherish your kids love them Make them feel safe. Protect their mind, their thoughts. Everything that go through their mind and their thoughts, you might not know. But always pray for your children. Always lay hands on your kids. Speak positive into the life of your children. No matter how the enemy is trying to remind you of the past, trying to remind you of what went wrong, what was not supposed to be, or ignore it and just fire it up with prayer. Burn it with prayer. Those negative things, arrest it with prayer. Refuse it. May God bless you. I want you to know that 
Your kids are rewards from God. Your children are treasure that you never want to just throw out there. Love on your kids. I don't know any of you that might come across this video. Whatever that has gone wrong in the past with you and your kids, with you and your mother, your father, please know that there's always a new beginning. You can always do things all over again. You can begin from where you stop. It's never too late. So that the enemy will be ashamed that your plan has been canceled in the life of your children. God bless you. I love you. Yes.